Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahushua Ba'ashim, Rekha Gadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, must respect to your brothers out there, just preaching his word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of earth, Tabernacle with David, hopeful and elect, and the speckled bird, I want to say shalom. So, as you've seen from the clip, and the Lord doing damage. Lord putting in that work here in Kentucky. Now where I'm at, me and the brothers, a hey, hey, we're pretty much Gucci. It hasn't hit down here. It was raining a lot, but it hasn't hit down here. Hey, for real, for real. <laughs> hey, we we gonna pray to y'all by Shmiel Shah to continue to bring the pain down this place. All right. We out there week in, week out, you know, starting with the apostles and the elders and the brothers on down. Hey, been out there preaching, telling you the times to come. But, hey, Jake, Jake don't want to listen. Jake don't want to take heed. So, thus, hey, Jake going to get jacked up. So, let's go ahead and get some scriptures. All right. This is, um, let's go to um, 2nd Ezra's 15. Let's go to that. This is um, Second Ezra's fifteen, and I go ahead and start at the top. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord Yahweh Shemel Sah. And that's what we doing. You eat the whole roll. All right, it's sweet. You learn that you're Israelite, but then when it gets in your belly, it's bitter. All right, because you understand that <laughs> our people's hard head is hill. You know, you got to go through that straight and narrow. You got to go through Jacob's trouble. And, and a lot of people going to perish on this side. But once again, it's sweet again because you know the kingdom of heaven is literally around the corner. All right. And the Lord put these, put the uh, words of prophecy in the prophet's mouth. All right. We are the Lord's mouthpiece. Lord, when we have those men, the first fruits, and hey, we are, we are the Lord's mouthpiece. Okay. The Lord is not going to come down here himself and, and, and talk to you niggas no that's what he has the prophets for and calls on to be written in paper for they are faithful and true you see that all right the lord is not a man that he should lie and his word abideth forever all right so the lord said that these plagues pestilence death and destruction is going to happen and it's going to happen all right if you want to escape the, the these times to come you know have the angels have the Lord having the angels watching over you, protecting you, and, and so that you uh, um, also will not be ashamed in the time of famine. All right, you, you got to take heed to this true gospel, man. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, all right? Because a lot of our people have that unbelief and... <laughs> It, it, you know, they hard headed. So it takes for them to get jacked up like this huge flood in Kentucky, man. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. That's what's going to happen, man. All right. You you, you don't want to trust in this gospel. Thus, uh, trust in Yahweh Shemel Shai. You're going to be cut asunder, man. You're going to drown. You're going to catch a pestilent plague or whatever, man. Whatever Yahweh Shemel Shai has for, in store for you. 
Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. That's what the Lord is doing. And that's what we out there on the highways and byways preaching to the people, man. This is coming. All right. The words are faithful and true. All right. For the wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and the hopeful works are fulfilled. You see that? It is mass wickedness, you know, upon this earth. And the Lord is moving. The Lord is bringing down judgment upon this world. And if you don't want to take heed to it, uh, if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, a speckled bird, all right, you, you just going to uh, <laughs> be put to death, man. As it says in verse 4, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. That's what's going to happen to these jakes out here, you know. And they got their cars and, and everything messed up, you know. Hey, hey, they love they love the corruptible crown, but the Lord is <laughs> Lord is taking away everything from you, Jake. You know? That's why you gotta matter of fact, since I said that you you just gotta store up treasures in heaven, man. Start worrying about these um you know earthly earthly things that's gonna pass away that don't mean nothing. Especially when, when the time of Jacob's trouble pop off, you know, your money, your cars, everything is not going to mean nothing, man. All right. This is uh, Matthew 6, 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth where moth and rust stuff corrupt, where thieves break through and steal. You see that? But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust stuff corrupt. And where these do not break through and steal, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. All right? So you're supposed to be in this truth. All right? Because when you in this truth, all right, once again, you eat the whole row. It's going to be sweet in your mouth, but it's going to be bitter. All right? You, gotta, you realize that, hey, everything down here is a loss. It's a corruptible crown. But, hey, you, you go hard for the Lord. All right, the, the riches of the kingdom of heaven, the glory, all that, the honor. Hey, that's way better than anything that you can get down here, man. And uh, you had, you had a, a damn Hummer underwater. I remember when them Hummers were hot. Hey, I remember when pretty much everybody loved them Hummers. You know, they, they sucked up gas, but hey, hey, them Hummers used to be hot. You know, but <laughs> you, you see it now underwater, man. Matter of fact, this is our verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of power and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. You're supposed to seek the kingdom of first. But these jakes are unfaithful. They don't want to take heed to what we're saying out there. So, hey, they, they, they're going to be cut asunder, man. Matter of fact, let's get a couple more scriptures. This is, um, this is, um, let's see what I want to get first. I get Hosea first. It's Hosea 6. In um, verse 5, Hosea 6 and verse 5, Therefore I have hewed them by the prophets. I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. All right? So the Lord uses his prophets. The prophets are the Lord's mouthpiece. All right? And, and these words, all right, this Bible is cutting our people. Lord willing, I'll, I'll do a lesson. Um, I want to do a lesson entitled, if the Lord puts the spirit upon me to entitle this, but it's better to be cut by the word of the Lord than to be cut by the Lord himself. I'm say that again. It's better to be cut by the word of the Lord than to be cut by the Lord himself. Okay? Because at least you have time to repent. And that's what we tell our people, man, repent. Stop doing all that wickedness, man. All right. And the Lord's judgment. All right. They, they, there ain't no escaping the Lord's judgment. Matter of fact, I want to get um, I want to get some other translations in that. Give me one second. I'm going to read them off. Give me one second. Slocky, y'all, because um, I, I don't have the Internet on this phone right now. So I'm going to look it up on my other phone. This is. um. This is Hosea 6 and 5 in the New Living Translation. I have sent my prophets 
to cut you to pieces, to slaughter you with my words. You hear that? All right, because you literally get cut by this word, man. You know, I remember listening to, you know, uh, um, the brothers, man. Might have been Malcolm. I said it about uh, two weeks ago, I believe. The day we uh, saw the chariots at the camp. All right, uh, uh, you thinking <laughs> that the Holy Spirit was a shuba da ba da, I mean, you know? <laughs> you know, what, what the church would call speaking in tongues. You know, I'm glad the brother said that. You know, they cut me. And I'm glad it cut me because it's real love. Rebuke is real love. All right. It is pulling you out the fire. Okay. You get cut and then you repent and turn to the Lord. That's what you're supposed to do. That's the job of the prophets. You know, the priest's word to warn the people, the incoming judgment. All right. Those are the Israelites. A hey, repent. If not, you're going to be destroyed. And, and you damn heathens, the ones that's ruling over us. Hey, you can't repent, man. You you gonna be destroyed. All right. The Lord pronounced judgment upon our enemies. Okay. Let's see. Um, with judgments as inescapable as light. All right. <laughs> All right. The uh, you don't want to take heed. You know, just like the sun shining down on your on your skin when you go outside. Hey, that's the Lord's judgment. Ain't no escaping the Lord's judgment. Okay, Jake think is <laughs> Jake think is a game, man. You know, folly is set in great dignity. Well, all that folly and madness is being put out. All right, Slacky, y'all. Uh, let me get this real quick. All right, so I'm gonna go to um, I'm gonna go to Amos five and uh, verse ten. All right, they hate him that rebuketh. In the gate, they have whored him that speaketh uprightly. All right, so they they don't want to, they don't want to hear this word. So thus, you you hate the prophet, or you despise the prophet, you despise the Lord, or you cast his word away. Hey, <laughs> once again, as we read in Second Ezra fifteen, all right, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All right, they're gonna be out here drowning. They they gonna be out here <laughs> looking dumb as hell, man. All right, this is um, it's for Esau Edom. All right, because we standing out there boldly telling this man that his king was falling. All right, and it's happening right before our very eyes. This is a, it's a Second Thessalonians two. I'm just go ahead and get verse eight. Second Thessalonians two and eight. Um. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. All right. The wicked has been revealed. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. All right. Which is being consumed by the spirit of the Lord's mouth. All right. Who, who, is, who is the Lord's mouth? All right. That's the prophets out there on the highways and byways. Going out there boldly. Proclaiming that this man's kingdom is through. And it is. And he's hating that, man. All right. And, and our words are, are a form of spiritual power. And we've been telling you, you know, starting with the apostles and elders and the brothers on down. Hey, they've been out there telling you that these times will come. All right. So the Lord is jacking up this place, man. And check this. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So, hey, we just got to hold fast, wait patiently upon the Lord. Keep on doing this work. Keep on preaching his word. All right. And then the Lord is going to come and physically bring down this man's kingdom, man. It's already being brought down low. All right. By us going out there on the highways and byways, preaching it into existence. All right. But the Lord is going to physically bring this man down. And that's what we're seeing. This earth is being visited by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Matter of fact, let's get that. That's, um. Second Ezra's nine. Let's let's get that. Second Ezra's nine. I'm gonna start at the top. And he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. When thou seest part of the signs past, when I've told thee before, thou shalt understand that it was the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that's what we're seeing right now. The Lord is visiting the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars in the people in the world, 
Thou shalt well understand that the most high speak of those things from which the days were before thee, even from the beginning. All right. The prophets have always been, been speaking about this. You know, the prophets are old and the prophets are now. All right. Because we coming back in our lots. The Lord has given us the Holy Spirit in our past life and the Holy Spirit in this life. All right. To proclaim that the Lord is coming back. And this time we are in the time where the Lord is visiting this place and he's coming back and taking Esau, Edom out of power. And it's beautiful because we see up earthquakes, you know, floods, volcanoes. Uh, missiles being dropped up worlds of the people all right that's the lord showing you that this world is being visited okay this is um let's see what else i want to get i'm gonna go ahead and go to uh genesis all right this is genesis 6 let me start at verse 5 real quick yeah genesis uh Six and verse five, and power saw the wickedness, the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. All right, and and the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So this man Esau, Edom. All right, him being wicked, the whole earth is wicked. Jake is out here following the ways of Esau, Edom. All right, they 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 don't love righteousness. They don't love the Lord, all right? And repented the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And then the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and when the creep and the creepy thing and the fowls of the earth of the air, and from and for it repented me that I made them. All right, so the Lord's coming back. Hey, hey, the Lord is visiting, you know, this place, man. All right, <laughs> you know, you don't want to get right with the Lord and hey, you're going to be destroyed. You're going to be destroyed. So the Lord going to take out this man, Esau, Edom, and you two thirds. as as just <laughs> imagining vain thoughts want to want to continue in evil. All right, we you see it, man. The alphabet clan, you know, all types of stuff, man. You know, <laughs> you just keep on naming it. How wicked this place is. All right, so this place got to be taken out. This is not our rest, Jake. And the Lord is showing it by flooding this earth. Just like the Lord flooded the the uh, uh, old world. All right, the Lord is visiting this place now. He's not going to flood it this time. All right, there will be floods. But he's not going to flood the whole earth this time. But he is, the ultimate plague, man, that's going to come upon this earth is that nuclear missile. Okay? And matter of fact, since I said that, uh, um, I believe, okay, before I came into the truth. All right, I want to say a couple months before I came into the truth, I did have a dream about this place flooding. By over here in, in, in Kentucky flooding. All right. So I'll see if it, um, you know, I'll see uh, how the days go. If it uh, correlates to the dream that I had, you know. But the Lord did give me a, a dream before I came to the truth about um, Kentucky flooding. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. Like I said, right now, me and the brothers down here at hey, Gucci, you know, the flood hasn't hit uh, down here where we're at, but it has hit major parts of, of Kentucky down here, you know. Uh, let me see. Uh, verse 8, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Yahweh me outside. All right. And, and Lord willing, we, we want to be like Noah, man. You know, we that's why we out there on highways and byways building our, building our spiritual art. So we can find grace. So our, our, our families, ourselves, our, our brothers can escape the incoming judgment. All right. And like I said, me and the brothers, hey, we, we good down here, man. You know, that's just the Lord showing grace upon us. This is, um, I'm going to go to Hebrews 11. And I think I'm going to close out right there. All right. This is uh, Hebrews 11, 
think I want to start at um let's see what I want to start at. It's Hebrews uh, eleven and six. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to power must believe that he is, and he that is a rewarder of them that diligently seek them. You see, you gotta have faith. Faith, faith is a beautiful thing to have, man. Faith is not bestowed upon all the people of this world, right? And so he's going to reward you for diligently seek you, seeking him. So like it, the Lord is going to reward you for diligently seeking him. All right, please, uh, doing that which is pleasing in the eyes of Yahweh All right, he's going to protect you in these last days, all right? But you got to do the work. You you got to, hey, you got to have faith and do the work. In verse 7, by faith Noah being warned of power of the things not seen as yet, all right? Because we out there preaching his word. Hey, we telling you that Jacob's trouble is around the corner. You know, we see it coming, but it's not here yet. All right, we telling you that the nuclear missiles are going to hit this place. All right, we see the war tensions, but they're not here yet. All right, but but we are already moved by the spirit of fear. All right, the spirit of, of fearing Yahweh Bashmi outside and and Lord willing to have our, our ourselves, our family, and our brothers uh, protected in these last days. All right, move with fear. You see that? Prepare the ark, and right now we're building up our spiritual ark. All right, <laughs> and especially with it uh, uh, raining down here so much and it's flooding. All right, we out here building up our spiritual ark to be protected from the evil days to come. To the saving of the house by which he condemned the world. That's what the Lord is doing now, condemning the word, the world. All right, first. By the, by the mouth of the prophets and then and then the Lord Himself. All right. Well, well, actually, also the Lord visiting this place with earthquakes, death, famine, and destruction. All right, and floods as well. All right, and then the Lord Himself, Yahweh Shai, and the host of angels coming down and, and taking this man out of power. You see that? And became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. You see that? All right, so I'm just in it right there. Lord willing, this is edifying, man. You know, just continue doing the work. Have faith. You know, uh, uh, as of now, me and the brothers are Gucci. But, hey, <laughs> even if something did happen, you know, you're supposed to praise the Lord in, in good times and bad times, man. And still keep the faith. Okay? So, once again, me and the brothers down here, hey, we Gucci. You know, it hasn't hit our part of our town. But, hey, we'll see what happens. Until next time, Lil' Willing, Shalom, and a Baba Ball.